Well guys, it's now summer and the sea trout are coming back. Today I'd like to talk about dry fly fishing for sea trout. While I'm a great fan of Hugh Falcus and his earlier written works, I noticed he had published very little about dry fly fishing for sea trout at night in his many documentaries and written books. He touched on the use of the surface lures at night, but that's as close as he got to dry fly fishing for sea trout. I found from my own personal experience from fly fishing for sea trout on the river that the use of dry fly can be highly effective. Sea trout will often feed on top together with their brown trout cousins on hatches of upwing duns and sedges during the evening rise of the summer months. I'm always watching for what's hatching on the river so as to pinpoint what they're eating. The presentation of the dry fly is so important as not to spook the fish. Sometimes when a good hatch is on the surface feeding can turn ferocious, with both brown trout and sea trout feeding on top, right into darkness of night. I have been in the water with fish coming up around me up to six feet away from where I'm standing in the river. When they're feeding like this, they are totally preoccupied with the feeding and care little about the angler standing in the water beside them. Having said this, it's still important to move slowly while wading in the river. When dry fly fishing at night, you cannot see the dry fly as you can in the daylight hours or spot if the fly is sinking. So drying the fly out with false cast is important and of course the application of gink floatant on the fly before casting out. After catching a trout there is a problem. I find it's essential to have half a dozen of the same dry fly in my fly box because 99% of the time after catching a sea trout the fish slime from the mouth of the fish will penetrate the fibres of the fly and make it sink so much so that no amount of false casting or floatant will keep the fly afloat. A new dry fly is needed at this stage. The sport of fly fishing for sea trout at night is something to behold. You can hear sea trout splashing, mouths pucking the surface and fish moving. The sport of fly fishing is in full swing at this point and the excitement of the next take can be exhilarating not knowing if you're going to catch a sea trout or a brown trout on the, on the fly. Having said this, I'm always happy to catch a brown trout, but I'm extra happy when a sea trout connects with me. And while hooked, they do the sea trout dance, leaping into the air and the depths of the darkness of night before coming into the landing net. The headlamp is turned on and the silver dancer is revealed at the bottom of the landing net. The feeling is exhilarating. And later on, when the hatch and surface action subsides, it's time to fish wet flies as the fish have gone back down. This would be our traditional sea trout fishing as Hugh Falcus practiced. So the next time you go sea trout fishing at dusk, try to dry fly as a technique for catching sea trout. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any more questions or if you have had success with this method. I'd love to hear your feedback.